Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Twin Flame Tarot Reading. My name is Brittany. I'm a coach here with New World All-Star, and we are going to get a little energy update on the Divine Masculine. What is going on with the Divine Masculine these days? Well, all right, guys. Well, welcome to this channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Maybe you're new here. Maybe you're not. Either way, welcome. And the chances are, if you found this channel, you have met your twin flame. And look, guys, you know, I don't want to sit here and say, oh, my gosh, this is the best thing that ever happened to you, even though it really is the best thing that ever happened to you. I promise you that. But it can also be very, very painful, especially in the beginning. And that's OK. That's how it is. That's how it should be. No big deal. So I just want to let you guys know that that's okay. You're in the right place. We can definitely help you out with whatever's going on with you and your twin flame. And we're going to get into this reading. But so yeah, so maybe you have some questions, right? Maybe you're new here and you don't really know, like, what is a twin flame? What's, what's going on with that twin flame thing? Well, there's a lot of information out there on the internet about twin flames. And a lot of it is kind of silly. And, you know, that's okay, but there is one thing that everybody can kind of agree on, and that is that twin flames are one soul in two bodies. All right, now how does that, how does that happen, right? Does the soul split? Is there, you know, how, how do you get, how do you get one soul in two bodies? Well, here's my take on it. Time is an illusion and everything is happening now and so your twin flame is essentially just a simultaneous incarnation of your soul of you who you are right you're a three-part being you have a body you have a mind you are the soul so that's all it is it's just a simultaneous incarnation of you in this plane of existence happening now. You just met yourself. That's just you over there. Now to the mind, that's just like ridiculousness. But the mind, you know, perceives reality through a construct that it can perceive. Now, let's talk about, so now we know what your twin flame is. It's a simultaneous incarnation of your soul. And now let's talk about the next most common question. Why did you meet them? Well, the reason that we meet our twin flame, our simultaneous incarnation of our soul, is for one reason and one reason only, and that is to awaken us to consciousness. Now, how does that happen? Well, and maybe you guys out there can attest to this, you know, let me know in the comments, but maybe, or excuse me, I'm sure you guys can relate to this, what I'm about to say. So you meet, you meet your twin flame, and there is that instant what feels like connection. Am I wrong? And, you know, you go through this time period and it's kind of variable for everybody. You know, time's an illusion, whatever. And, you know, there, it's just this instant connection. It's just, you can't explain it. And it's it's more than just, you know, it's it's more than anything you've ever really experienced. So then all of a sudden, and for no reason, they pull away, they run, they run. And that's because when you meet your twin flame, when you meet the physical person that is the simultaneous incarnation of you, there is a polarization that occurs at the level of the mind. And it's not the content of the mind, it's energy, which is why you push and they pull away. It's like, I don't know, it's like a weird activation or something. You know, it's okay. And, and you know what? If you want to know more about what's going on here, I highly recommend that you check out our True Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel, on New World All-Star on YouTube. Kurt has put out so much free content for you guys to check out that, you know, it's really great. So check it out. I mean, he knows what he's talking about. With over 6,000 paying students to date, thousands of unions, you know, all of these people just manifesting their best, most amazing lives. Twin flames are coming back into people's lives. Twin flames are getting married, all kinds of stuff. So go check it out. It's free. It, it doesn't cost you anything. So go check it out. The True Twin Flame Teachings Playlist 
on this channel. But yes, essentially your twin flame, there is this polarization that occurs and now you can, and that, and that's the whole reason that you meet them because it, it kicks off that dark night of the soul or ego death. And that is where you come to know that you are not the mind. You are not the identity. You are not the identity that the mind has created that it has used to define you. You're not any of that. You're not limited by that. You are not the mind. You are not the thoughts. You are not even the thinker. Okay. And so as you come to you know, and, and you're going to go through this dark night of the soul or in traditional Zen spiritualism, ego death, where you realize that you're not the mind, you're not the identity. And, and, you know, when you meet your twin flame, it's so hard to ignore. I mean, you can't, you cannot ignore it. The obsessive thinking is so loud. It's like, it is, it's like it's happening to you and it's there for a reason so that you can see the mind in action, but that it's not you. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. Check out our True Twin Flame Teachings playlist if you want to know more. Kurt has put all of that up for you guys totally free here on YouTube. Check it out. All right, guys. At the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant for Divine Masculine. All right. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So Divine Masculine is coming to realize that they really are, whether they're male or female, because as we know, this is not based on a system of gender. It's, this is based on a system of energy. Okay. You can be a male divine feminine, a female divine masculine. Doesn't matter. No problem. It's all good. This is about energy, not gender. So the Hierophant reversed is all about divine masculine, really going within and, and realizing that they are their own teacher. They're really starting to, to trust their own inner, inner wisdom. And, and it feels, you know, it feels a little strange at first to them, but they're really starting to follow their own path. They're really starting to trust their own judgment. It might feel a little strange, but you know what? Change often does. It's okay. I've learned one. I've, if I've learned, I've learned many things in this life experience. And one very important one is trust my own intuition and be okay with the discomfort at times when I trust myself, change does feel uncomfortable to the mind and to the body. And remember, we are three part beings. We have a mind, we have a body, we are the soul. And so when you intuitively know that you should go in a direction, the mind and the body might feel a little uncomfortable. That's okay. You just notice that, but you trust your own intuition. Your intuition is always right. All right, guys, for divine, for divine masculine in the recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. All right, being called to just bring in some more discipline and, and you know, just really, just really wanting to kind of, you know, maybe they've been a little not focused on their goals and they're kind of starting to see that and they're really being called to bring in some more discipline in order to achieve their goals, which is fine. That's cool. It's always good to have some focus. All right. Okay. So in the recent past, in their 3D life situation or so-called karmic situation, we have the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. Okay. Probably something to do with work, something to do with finances. Definitely working hard on, on you know, working on their skills. They're really, really, really focused on work. They're really, really, really focused on that. And, and they're really just, you know, just working very diligently toward, toward goals, right? Maybe they haven't been with that Knight of Pentacles reverse coming up. Maybe they haven't been, you know, maybe they have been a little loosey goosey, not really paying attention to things, maybe getting caught up in some drama in their 3D life situation. And now they're just like, nope, we're, we're putting our, you know, we're putting our nose to the grindstone here. I don't even know why that's a phrase. Maybe I'm getting that phrase wrong. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will let me know. Ha! <laughs> But, you know, they're, they're really just focusing on their goals here and just really going, they're really just focusing on, on their career, work situation, financial situation, and, and really focusing on themselves, which is, which is good. You know, it's important to focus on ourselves and do what is best for us. And there's such a misconception that like, oh, that's so selfish. No, it's not. It's self-care. 
okay? There's a difference. It's, we have to take care of ourselves first. There's a reason why you have to put on your own oxygen mask on a plane before you can help anyone else get theirs on. You know, you can't save anyone in, you know, if you're in the ocean and people need help, you can't help anyone if you don't first have on your own life jacket. So I'm just saying, guys, there's nothing wrong with that. It's important to take care of ourselves. It's important to put ourselves first. It's important to learn to fill our own cup. We can only fill from a full cup. We cannot fill from an empty cup. All right. In the recent past toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the King of Swords reversed and the Page of Pentacles. So the, in the recent past toward you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine has really just been lacking that decisiveness lacking that clarity, lacking that direction. And, you know, just, they just really are, they're, they're really focusing. They were, they were kind of just not focusing on you. They, they knew that they had all of these amazing feelings for you, but they, they're just, they're just staying focused on their own. They were staying focused on their own journey, on their own path. And, and just kind of not really paying you much attention, okay? So that's kind of what was going on in the recent past toward you with Divine Masculine. They were in it, you know, and it wasn't about you, Divine Feminine. It was just Divine Masculine was just kind of like, I'm doing my own thing and I don't know how this thing fits in with that thing and all these things. And so they just kind of backed away maybe. Maybe they just backed off, okay? So... Currently, for Divine Masculine, we have the Page of Wands. Lots of new opportunities, lots of new things kind of coming into, into their awareness. You know, lots of, lots of financial kind of things or, you know, maybe even relationship things, friendships, travel. It could be anything, but a lot of new opportunities, a lot of new projects, new, new opportunities for growth. And they do require, they do require some planning, which maybe isn't this divine masculine strong suit. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of new energy kind of coming in for divine masculine. You know, maybe some of that, maybe some of that, you know, discipline up here in their karmic situation, 3D life situation is paying off in the, in the sense of their job or something like that. All right. So for divine masculine in their 3d life situation so-called karmic situation currently we have the ace of pentacles reversed and the two of wands okay so maybe getting a little bit relaxed on the discipline financially and needing to kind of like spend you know kind of go back within on the spending maybe it's financial but maybe it's also just currency you know we've talked about this before Currency is also emotional, time currency, and maybe they're just being a little bit too relaxed with it again, kind of falling into old habits, all right? And the Two of Wands is really saying that Divine Masculine is definitely at a crossroads, and they need to make a decision, and they need to just really embrace getting out of their comfort zone, because if they don't, you know, if, if, if we don't get out of our comfort zones, we just kind of cycle around until we, until we get the message and we take that that giant leap of faith into the unknown and just trust the universe. And divine masculine is at that crossroads. And here's the thing, you can be at that crossroads many times because the universe is not going to let you off the hook. It's not. When it's your time to awaken, when it's your time to level up, when it's your time to ascend, when it's your time to whatever, whatever the universe has in store for you, the universe isn't gonna let up. It's just not. It's just not. All right. And, and I have a feeling that currently in, in Divine Masculine's 3D life situation, Divine Masculine is being shown this crossroads that probably Divine Masculine has been shown before. But the universe is like, hey, I didn't forget about you there, Divine Masculine. Nope, didn't forget. We're still, we're still here talking about this, this stuff, okay? All right. So... And here's the thing, Divine Feminine, as you awaken, as you, as you wake up every single day and you, and you go within and you're experiencing yourself as the consciousness, Divine Masculine is affected in their, in their very Divine Masculine way, right? Because you're one soul. And, you know, it's, it's, 
consciousness. You know, if consciousness expands, consciousness universally expands. And you and divine masculine are one system. Okay, so as you go within, as you align with that which you are, which is consciousness itself, yes, divine masculine does come tend to come back to be with you and come back into your life situation and all of that stuff. But more than that, they are affected. And it might be on a very primal kind of under the surface level, but they are. And so just, just keep going within divine feminine because it's all working out for you. Okay, it really is. And Divine Masculine is feeling that too. That Two of Wands really kind of strikes me as Divine Masculine is really, really, really at this crossroads and being forced to go outside of their comfort zone and just take this big jump, okay? All right, but currently toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the Fool reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So they're definitely looking at you and holding back absolutely holding back, absolutely holding back from taking that leap of faith, which really makes me wonder if that two of wands isn't about you, divine feminine. And that's all happening because you're going within, you're aligning with that, which you are. All right. And then we have the wheel of fortune reversed. So, you know, the thing about the wheel of fortune reversed is that it always makes me think of the fact that the thing about tables is that they always turn. You know, maybe as you're going within and you're aligning with that which you are and you're experiencing yourself as consciousness, as the soul, divine masculine is feeling that on a very instinctive level. And where divine masculine ran, divine masculine is now chasing. And that's what I get the sense of here. I get the sense that they are holding back, but energetically kind of moving towards you, if that makes sense. And, and it's like this internal battle with divine masculine. Divine masculine has this whole internal struggle. Like they're probably shit posting on social media. Everything's cool. They're, they're still ghosting you. They're not paying attention to you or they're not answering your texts or they're kind of sluggish or whatever whatever. But this wheel of fortune coming up is that that energy is shifting. I don't give a shit what they say. I don't care. Okay. All right, guys, we are going to do an Oracle card. And while I am getting that ready, I want to invite you guys over to newworldallstar.com to check out what we have to offer. We have the two world-class coaching programs, the Introduction to the Journey online video course for Twin Flames, as well as the Manifest Your Dream Life online video course for everybody who just wants to manifest their best, most amazing existence, okay? So I want to I want to invite you guys over there to check that out. Now, here's how it works. So if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in the Twin Flame course, so let's talk about it. You get over 20 hours of online video educational content to align with your soul and have your twin flame running back to you like pronto. But it's, it's more than that, though. It's how you feel. This is about you feeling better. Now, the paradox is as you feel better, as you align with consciousness, your twin flame does tend to come back into your life. It just, it's how it works. I've seen it a lot. So that being said, it's really not expensive, guys. It's like three or $400. You get 20 hours of educational material to align with your soul and feel better today. Not to mention, once you're done watching the video course, you can get into the group coaching calls, which by the way, guys, I highly recommend you get the gold package for the online video course because you get two months of the group coaching calls included in the package price um, with the gold program. So you get the videos, you get two months of the coaching calls, two months of access to the closed secret Facebook group for paying students, not the public Facebook group, the closed secret Facebook group for paying students only, where everybody is in there just doing this stuff, right? They're just, they're just really taking it and just going full throttle and just transforming their life experiences. So, Highly recommend it. So come over to newworldallstar.com. And guys, listen, a couple things. If you can't afford, you know, a few hundred dollars, no problem. We have payment plans available. So for 60 or $70, you can make one payment. You get full access to the online video course. 
And you, so we take the full package price, we split it up into six payments. When you make your first payment, you get full access to the online video course. And once you're done watching those, as soon as you're done watching those, you can get into the group coaching calls. No problem. No problem. And guys, the call times are staggered. So no matter where you are in the world, there is a call time that works for you. And we actually added more calls to accommodate people in various parts of the world. So it's totally accessible. And if that still doesn't work, no problem. We record them so you can listen to them whenever you want to. And I guarantee you that whatever question you have, whatever you need to hear is going to be brought up in those calls and addressed. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I hear it all the time, guys. No bullshit. I hear it all the time. All right, let's do this Oracle card. Oh, this one. Let it go. Oh, I love it. I love it. That one's so pretty. All right. Let's check it out in the book. But yes, guys, do come over to newworldallstar.com. Work with the best. Work with me. Work with Kurt. And, you know, get your twin flame to come back to you. Stop watching tarot readings about your situation and start doing something about your situation. Come over to newworldallstar.com and get get on get on the path do it right all right here we go let it go there are times in life when you must forgive lest you become a hostage to your anger frustration disappointments and resentments this is not about condoning bad behavior or minimizing a hurt done to you forgiveness is simply a commitment to stop telling an old story so you don't carry its burden anymore if you don't forgive, old hurts fester and become distorted, causing you pain over and over again. You become trapped in a prison of your own making, tied to the story that you were a victim. It's time to cut the invisible cords attaching you to the situation and preventing you <clears throat> from moving forward. The truth is you are victimizing yourself every time you recreate an unresolved hurt in your mind or speak of it with friends. Rather than allow this folly to repeat, Surrender the situation to your higher power. Now is the time for radical forgiveness. Say no to the drama in all forms and forgive yourself and others for engaging in it. Consider the ancient Hawaiian practice known as, I am never, I never say this right, guys, so I'm going to give it my best shot. Ho'opo ono po'ono. <laughs> this simple prayer, which this is a beautiful practice. I just can't pronounce the name of it. Uh, this simple prayer is a beautiful way to begin the process of forgiveness. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. It's based on the idea that we are all responsible for the reality we see in the world. If something is awry, whether it's your perception, your emotional reactions, your judgment, and so forth, it's up to you to clean it up. Forgiveness is the key to a liberated and meaningful life, no matter what method you choose. Just do it. I love that, guys. And that is so true. And you know, that's true. That's not just divine masculine. That's all of us. We all need to remember that to let it go. You know, the mind, the mind itself, right? It just gets so caught up in all the drama. And it's all, it's all just bullshit. It's all just bullshit. It's just drama. It's just stories. It's just what the mind does. But the truth is that the only thing that really matters is right now. It's all that ever mattered. Life is happening now. And it's always been happening now. All right. So listen, guys, we talk a whole lot more about that in the group coaching calls. So go to newworldallstar.com, get the gold package and get on the calls and talk with me and talk with Kurt and, you know, connect with the community about living in the now, being, experiencing consciousness. All right. Okay, and, and aligning with that which you are, right, which is, coincidentally, also your twin flame. So the more you align with that which you are, they just come back, and it's just a byproduct of your ascension. So I'm just saying, guys, we've seen it a lot. <laughs> All right, so moving forward for Divine Masculine in the near future, we have the Three of Cups reversed. Okay, 
Divine Masculine starting to feel a little shitty, just kind of feeling isolated and alone and just, but also needing that time to go within, you know? And here's the thing, guys, when we need to be alone, the universe is going to clear out space for us to be alone. And that's okay. That's so beautiful. That time and solitude is so necessary. It is so very necessary. All right. Now, in the near future, toward the 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the High Priestess reversed and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so the High Priestess reversed is just, you know, Divine Masculine has not been really trusting his own intuition, has not been really able to feel their own intuition, his or her own intuition, their own intuition, you know, and so Divine Masculine is really going within and listening to their own inner guidance and really starting to know what that feels like, know what that sounds like, and just really connecting with that intuition, okay? And also, they're really enjoying that process and, and really just enjoying the fruits of their labor of, of solitude and going within and, and really experiencing the present moment and enjoying the experience of the present moment. It's almost like Divine Masculine is going through their own little awakening here, you know? And, and that's a very, it's a very cool thing. And that is happening because Divine Feminine, you are transcending, you are going within and you are transcending that which you are not experiencing that which you are, which is, which is union. You are union. The separation, that's an illusion of the mind. There is no separation. There's only, there's only you. There's only union. That's all there is. That's all there was. That's all there ever will be is that that you are union, you are your twin flame, okay? All right, so in the near future toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. All right, so Divine Masculine is really making a decision. With the Seven of Cups reversed, Divine Masculine is, is just absolutely making a decision, maybe between a few different options. And also just kind of taking a step back and looking at it. And, and that doesn't mean, and that doesn't mean necessarily multiple options of partners or anything like that. Just, it could be career. It could be living situation. It's, it's so many different things that divine masculine has to decide about in their own life situation. And they're just really going within and, and looking at that and, I would say absolutely moving towards you, Divine Feminine, because you are doing such an amazing job of just going within and just being. You're doing such a good job of not doing, which is beautiful, and I love it. And so I would look for Divine Masculine to be kind of reaching out pretty soon. I get the, I get the sense. And, and you know what? You're in total control of that. All of that is you. All right, guys, this has been a really powerful reading. I love each and every one of you, so please give us a like. Please hit subscribe. Please hit the bell notification button so that you are notified every time we post one of these amazing videos. I love you all so much. Go over to newworldallstar.com. Check out what we have to offer and come work with us. I would love to see you there. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and bye.